and you're watching Riptide Paintball. What's going on guys, it's the Hornet from Riptide Paintball and today I am super excited to show you the world's smallest paintball marker, the Goblin Solo. Before I do, uh, I just want to tell you please subscribe to the channel, we're close to 500 subscribers. So that is very, very cool, We're trying to get to a thousand, so help us out with that. So getting right into the video, I wanna talk a little bit about the Goblin Solo itself. So um, we have the Goblin Solo here. It is a very old marker, um, I think maybe like 2008 maybe. I, I, that's kind of just a guesstimate, so tell me in the comments if I'm right or wrong. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. So let me show you how it works. So I have the brake barrel right here, So or it has a brake barrel. And then if you look very closely into the, the breech, I guess, when you pull the trigger, all that's happening in there is a spring powered by, or excuse me, is a little push pin powered by a spring. So when you pull the trigger, a little push pin sticks out and that's what sets off the charge. That's it, it's super, super simple which obviously has to be simple, it's the world's smallest paintball gun. But anyway, so let me show you how the shells work really quickly. This is the capsule that goes inside of the shell. There are three different kinds of shells in the holster right here. Each different color represents a different bore size. So for example, I have 672, 676, and then 668. Okay, and then you just take whichever bore size that you want and you slip it over the capsule just like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, moving on to the holster. This is the holster that it came with. Um, it's the original holster that the guns were shipped out with. I will tell you that these are, you can't buy these anymore. These are completely out of stock. I will put the link in the description for Goblin Paintball if you just kind of want to look at their site but you cannot buy them anymore. They're super, super rare, and if you do find them, they're probably gonna be super expensive just because the rarity and people want them so bad. Um, it's a disappointment that they're not selling them anymore, but the, I think the main reason why they're not is because they're just so impractical, or they're not very practical for paintball use. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because it's one shot, right, with the shell, you shoot it and then you got to take out the shell reload but if you don't have a ton of these capsules then that's just like three shots and you're completely completely out and you got to go back to the field reload so I guess this is like the sidearm to the sidearm the last resort it only comes with one capsule and I can't find any more capsules anywhere I tried the cam mk2 shotgun shells but those didn't work so yeah, this is the, the Goblin Solo. Um, I Definitely not like a primary. It does work with first strike and round ball. You kind of got to jam the first strike in there and hope it doesn't break. But yeah, that's the Goblin Solo. Uh, now, now let me show you how to fill these actual capsules here. So let's move this to the side. Take your CO2 tank or HBA tank. I have heard that it works much better with CO2. It, there's no leaking. Um, it's just all around better with the CO2. So you just set it on a level table. You push down to hear the gas release and that's when it's full. And you have your full capsule. Choose your bore size that you want. Load in your paintball. Load the shell into the Goblin Solo. And you're ready to go. So yeah. Let's go out and test it. I'm curious to see what the FPS is. I've not, not tested it yet, but it is fairly accurate for just the tiny, tiny plastic barrel, and it is fairly powerful as well. Uh, obviously not the most accurate gun ever, as it wouldn't be with such a short barrel, but it still works, still a cool, still a cool feel to it, you know. Feels pretty good in your hand. Other than that, I'd say that the range on this, the accurate range is probably like like 30 feet, maybe 25 feet. So 
you know, not too good, but for some CQB or just for the sidearm to the sidearm, if you want to go TIPX and Goblin Solo, I guess it's cool. They have another model that's on your screen right now. It's the Goblin Deuce, and it's essentially a double miniature double barrel shotgun. Coolest thing ever. I do not have one. I do want one, so I'll be looking one for you guys, and I'll do a video on it if I ever find it. I'll do some gameplay on this soon. I'm not sure when. Just to show you how not very practical it is for paintball use. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go let's go test it. Check the FPS, see how it shoots. Alright, so I have the miniature goblin solo out here and I have my chronograph as well. So we're gonna go ahead, see how it shoots, see the velocity that it shoots at. Alright, so here we go. Okay, so that was 147 FPS. So that's not bad, I guess, for this small of a marker. And I guess it also depends on how much you fill up this cartridge. So we could do this over and over again and we would get a different FPS every single time. That's also one of the reasons why some fields don't allow shell ejecting markers like the Cam MK2 because you fill them one, you fill each of the shells up one by one. And if you put different amounts of uh, gas into each one of them then it'll be a different FPS and that could go over the FPS or way under the FPS you just have to know how much you fill it up and that's why some fields don't allow it all right guys thank you so much for watching that is the end of the video uh, as always make sure to like and subscribe I'm sorry for not posting in a while but we were very busy and we'll be posting much much more if you're gonna be at the Hell Survivors Monster game 2020 come say hi I will be there so for those of you who don't know, Rip to Paintball is a team. It is not just me. Uh, there's been a couple comments asking that. What is Riptide Paintball? So yes, we are a team. Hopefully we'll get more videos with the team. But until then, we'll see you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe.